All right, so her title is Hypocrisy of Degenerate Men. Um, I looked up the word degenerate to make sure that I wasn't going against something that I was assuming was out, out of place meaning or something like that. But I, as far as I can, can see, the most I can think she meant was that someone was corrupt or whatever. So that's what I'm going with. And I still don't think her point in, in using that into what she's trying to say is accurate. Now, I only seen a minute of it. So a lot of it, I'll be going off the top of the head, but let's get into it. Greetings, my ladies. So men online really like to criticize women for a lot of the problems that are going on in society. They like to say, my feminism, feminism is causing everything horrible. Now, right off the bat, uh, I've heard this before. And again, uh, women, we're not saying you very specifically. All women are the problem for are the problem for all problems. That's not what's being said. But the general thing that's being said is. And she used the word my feminism. The, I think she's referring to the channel Turf Flingy Monkey. And he doesn't even say. All women are the reason for all problems. He simply says, if we can, we can get a better, much better situation by just simply doing something as far as take away women's rights. And he gives explanations for that. He doesn't just pull it out of his ass. He actually gives explanations for that. But to go back on a general sense and to piggyback off that a little bit is, yes, if you put it back into a perspective of since men are going to be required to do things to handle any problems or any situation, then we are to start with men and everything will fall back into place. So when, when guys say women have this kind of rights, women do this and that, blah, blah, blah. They're not, again, they're not literally saying women are the problem for every single thing that goes on. It's just the fact that we're catering to women so much causes a lot of the things that are bad that are happening in our society. Well, in society. And that completely absolves any responsibility that a guy would have in any situation. And I mean, they criticize these aspects of feminism, such as allowing women to vote, allowing women to go to college, allowing women to work, and all of these things for the decline of society. All right, now let's think about those three things. Women, as far as women voting, right? So going back to Turf Lee Monkey, he said that when women vote, most women voters tend to vote for things that will like welfare, um, affirmative action and stuff like that, that will get women into these situations. And it's without uh, call. I don't want to quote him too much and, you know, make it sound right, but without deserving it or earning it, basically. Um and uh, college, going to school. Women have stated time and time again, whether by voice or by action, that they don't want men who they are doing better than financially, socially, or educationally. So by constantly putting more and more women in these situations, raising the bar for them, they're cost, they're make, it's more difficult for them to find men that they want. So obviously that is a problem. As I know it's hard to grasp, but it's true. Women doing better than men is a problem because they don't want those men. It's proven. And I forgot the third one and I'm not going back. And while these things do give women a lot more options with things that they're able to do in life, and I don't always agree with what they choose to do, I do think blindly criticizing feminism and women for all of these societal problems is pretty blanket who blindly crit criticizes feminism we literally point out the things that feminism does wrong gets wrong and completely causes problems within society we, we don't just blindly say oh women who are asking for rights they're fucking up society nobody does that we'll we'll say how they're influencing culture or they're influencing politics to give women uh let's say a free ride or something or birth 
control and all that. We we they will people who criticize feminism provide reasons why they're, cr- they're criticizing feminism. It's not blind. Did and not really nuanced. Specifically, these like male thoughts who come online, who've had like 10, 30 plus partners, whatever, and then they start complaining about how they can't find a good woman, or there's no good women out there, or all women are like lying sluts or something like that. And I just think that's a little bit hypocritical of them to start talking about how degenerate women are when they're just degenerates themselves. I'm not gonna try. And- women have. And I'm starting to see this trend where women will take a point that men have been making for so long and all of a sudden now it's their point. Because wasn't it men for the longest of time who we, when men still are saying that women want to live their lives as freely as possible, then at the very tail end of their youth say that they want somebody who's the opposite of who they've been dealing with? Wasn't that our talking point? How all of a sudden is it theirs? And men don't even say, men don't say that. Men who can have 30 partners, like 30 legit partners, not Tinder hookups. No, men who can have 30 legit partners don't turn around at 30 and say, where are the good women? Because they still have women after them. So that itself is completely false generalize and say all men but it's a lot of guys on youtube how the hell does she know that they have 30 partners because they said it so now it's convenient to take their word for it how do how does she know that they have 30 partners because i mean give a source give an example something who do this they come online starting to preach these patriarchal values talking about how we need to go back to a patriarchy and tame all these women who are just turning the society into a degenerate mess. Yet, they're ex-pickup artists, or they have an extremely high notch count, they're not married, they use porn or support prostitutes, yet they're talking about the degeneracy of women. It just doesn't really make sense. And I don't think these guys seem to realize that men have also had a contribution into what's going on in society. Men created Playboy, men subsidized Playboy, men indulge in porn and prostitutes. So they're fueling this degen. Men do criticize other men. Men call each other simps. Men criticize politics for solely, for solely trying to get votes as opposed to actually doing what's right. Men absolutely do criticize other men. And as far as the degeneracy of women, well, you, you got to actually look at who's using the porn who's actually you got to look at who's making the complaints and who's actually using the things that people are complaining about are the same dudes that's using porn the same dudes are complaining about the degeneracy of women are pickup artists complaining that there are no good women or is that are or is that dudes who don't typically don't have women after them that are complaining you 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 have to understand that there's different groups of people that it seems to be that she's replying to all in one statement. I see that they claim to hate and they claim to condemn all these like thoughts so that they they can complain all they want about the degeneracy of women, how women are all horrible and how women are contributing to the decline of society, but they completely absolve any sort of responsibility that men would play in that situation at all. Like if you're supposedly against women being thoughts, why would you watch porn? Why would you subsidize prostitutes? Why would you subsidize? Because they don't have any women that they can have sex with, with pro- without um, porn. I guess without having to pay them. D- that doesn't make it doesn't make sense to you that the same guys who have to pay prostitutes and use porn may be complaining that they're doing that because good women aren't around. They're either the hoes who don't give them a shot or. Or women that just look, think that they're beneath them. You're assuming that every man who complains about porn is also um, going around and having all these women. It wouldn't even. That's impossible. I mean, it's not impossible, but it doesn't make sense. As all these industries that only promote even more degeneracy within women. You wouldn't have porn without sexual liberation. You wouldn't have the freedom of prostitution without sexual liberation. Yet they continue to condemn sexual liberation 
while reaping these rewards. So, so in order to have the freedom to pick your sexual partner, porn must be in play. Playboy must be in play. The most extreme, and I'm not saying as a right, I'm saying that you, in order for you to be able to choose your partner, you must, you, you're just, porn is automatically going to be there by default because women, women, it can't just be, you know, maybe five, maybe seven. That's just outlandish. It's, this is common when you have a woman saying, oh, you, if you don't want a virgin, well, obviously you want a hoe. It's like there's a middle ground here that you can play in. Have you. You also have the Chad bros who are talking about their notch counts or how many girls they've had sex with and how ha having sex is like their one thing that every man has to do. And they pressure all of these other guys and they're like, oh, as long as she's hot, you have to have sex with her or have sex with as many women or promote this like pickup artist culture. And they also start to shame guys who don't have a high notch count or they shame male virgins or something. And they don't realize that when they turn around in 10 years or five years or something and start complaining about, oh, there's no good women left, they contribute to that. And Chad bros are starting to influence a lot of other guys who are starting to view, like, be you, you don't know where that come from. This is a classic example of where a group of people aren't okay with being themselves. And in this case, it's women aren't okay with just being women. When women try to... to express their freedom or liberty i guess is usually in a male form for some reason all of a sudden is oh we're going to do that male thing we're going to do what men usually do what men they they will actually utter that term men do it we do what men do men 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 just because men think a certain way doesn't mean you have to operate exact, exactly like men or how men want to to be free and liberate. I don't understand how being free means you must operate in a masculine manner. It, I don't get the point in that. A virgin or not having as much sex as they should be in a shameful light. It's like they're advocating for this culture where you shouldn't really discern who you have sex with, but you should just have sex with everyone as long as you can to prove you're some sort of alpha male or something. And then there's this huge pressure to have sex as soon as possible, otherwise you're some lame virgin who can't get laid just because maybe you have standards or maybe you just don't want to have sex with some random chick just because to prove you're some sort of man or something. And these guys mostly come up with their dumb excuses of uh, a key can open a bunch of locks, but a lock can only be opened by one key or something to justify how it's noble and great to have sex with like tons of women without ever even thinking about the consequences, but if a woman chooses to do it, she's a whore, or she's a slut, or she is not being traditional enough or something, or she's indulging in this whole feminist ideology, it just doesn't really make that much sense. And then they say- Yes, it does. Can y'all, ladies, can y'all stop acting like the double standard isn't there for a reason? There's a reason that you won't accept things from your boyfriend that you still do yourself, because there's men and then there's women. Okay, what the example she just gave is, it might be a childish one, but it's an absolute perfect example. You know, a guy, it takes work if you're a guy to go get it. Even if you're swiping right, you still have to close the deal, I guess. Whereas if you're a woman, you literally just have to, you go to, go somewhere where there's guys, a bar or something, and your chances of getting laid are just still astronomical. Unless you are literally uh overweight stanky whatever so let's stop acting like that double standard is not there for a reason because again there are things that we can't do that you can do and it's all based on like social roles and all that stuff so stop acting like it's just blindly there stuff like oh it takes so much effort to have sex with a girl like it does it's prideful it's like something to be really proud of if you can get some high notch count and i mean not really if there's girls out there who are having sex with like 30 different guys by the time they're 25 or something, is it really that hard for a guy to have sex with some random girl? Not really. So why are they praising having a high notch count as some sort of real man 
situation and then shaming us. I don't know if women notice this when they when they're making these points, but they're putting out a trend incidentally, which is guys are assuming that there are certain girls who are usually hurting some sort of way, maybe from their childhood, they have dad issues, whatever the case may be. But there is a limited number of women who are just out here putting it out and sleeping around. And then there are also women who actually see that who are you know, decent, who don't have these mental issues, emotional issues, and they don't indulge in this. That, that, that's the that's the thought that you have when you're when you're talking in this way. That's the trend you're in, incidentally pointing out here. Others who don't. Then these male thoughts or these Chad bros reach like 30 and they start complaining that there's no more good women left and that they're all sluts. And that's just because that's all they've ever interacted with. They've only been trying to get their notch count or find the easiest lay or find some chick that they can just hook up with and then ghost. I forget what they say. They say pump and dump or something. So perhaps they have like had multiple STDs. Maybe they have a few bastard children running around or something, but they choose to blame women for all of this in society. Like you can they say don't. that these women had horrible taste and that women are the gatekeepers of sex or something, but men do have a say in what goes on. Are we just going to say that men can't really choose what to do and they all have to succumb to their monkey brain or something? Men, They can choose and they're choosing to, while it's at its peak, it's use their, get their hormones, bro, sow the real oats, as you know, as they say. That's what they're choosing to do. But again, does the choice men make directly mean that women have to make it too? Like that's pretty much that what it's going to boil down to if you're going to make this point. Seem to be exempt from any sort of responsibility in these situations nowadays with these videos propping up saying women are the cause of this, feminism destroyed family, feminism destroyed all this stuff. But it doesn't acknowledge what contribution men had in this. Especially the guys who like to blame single mothers a lot and oh blame them God. for the complete collapse of society. Like, who's causing these single mothers? Who's having sex with these women and then abandoning their kids, essentially? Like, it's not only the woman. The guy had a play. No, it's not only the woman. And I, I make this point again. Ladies, that we're assuming that guy that left his family, left his child, is a piece of crap, right? We're criticizing your decision to sleep and have a kid with that guy because we're assuming you're not a piece of crap. Now, the alternate, the only other option is that we can make on the assumption is that you yourself is a piece of crap. So which one do you do? You do you prefer us to assume you're not a piece of crap and say you shouldn't have made that bad decision to sleep with that piece of crap? Or should we see you as a single mom and go, yep. That there goes that piece of crap or her piece of crap kid. Where's the piece of crap dad? They don't know. Of course they don't know because it's just a bunch of pieces of crap. Which one do you prefer? In it too. And if you're just absolving him from any sort of responsibility with these single mother situations, it just doesn't seem fair, really. Because if he's allowed to go around and be a thought, maybe have like three different kids out there and then three different single. If he's making children, y'all do understand we call him a piece of shit. We're not absolving him from responsibility. We're telling you not to sleep with that guy. We're telling you not to make that decision. Well, mothers. So it just doesn't seem fair to place all the blame on them when it's the thought's fault for just doing that. These guys just seem like they're scapegoating with women's liberation or feminism and all these other things or women being sluts and women being the gatekeepers of sex and all these things and how it's so easy for a woman to get laid. But they completely acknowledge the guys who are contributing to this as well. And while I do advocate for women to make better decisions, the guys out there who are doing this are also contributing to the decline of society. Because these guys are just thinking with their monkey brain, being like, oh, I'm horny, I'm going to go find some random chick to have sex with and not think about the implications. Or even in some cases, thinking about pleasure 
and deciding not to use any sort of contraception at all and the woman gets blamed for it in that situation they don't really seem to think about the consequences of what they're doing yet only care about their notch counts and only care about how many girls they've had sex with and being real alpha male being a chat what consequences exactly is he supposed to worry about the fact that she may become a single mom the fact that she may uh, end up a porn star or something or end up a whole, what, what exactly he's supposed to care about? We live in a society where you are out here for yourself. So what he's supposed to care about is, is if he's going to get an STD. He's supposed to care about if he's going to get caught up. She's supposed to care about that too. So again, if you want us to, we'll just assume both parties are pieces of shit. The man and the woman. I'm out.